Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the chairman of the East Hartford Board of Education, Mr. Brian Hall. My fellow Board of Education members, mayor, elected officials, superintendent, all high school principals, cabinet members, administrators, and staff. Welcome to the graduation of the class of 2020. Although we are not together in one venue, we are together in celebration. There are times in life that you really find out who you are, what makes you happy, and what makes you unhappy. How to deal with the situation, how to avoid a situation. Some of those decisions are easy. Some of those decisions need time and patience for clarity. A decision of what college to attend. A decision on joining the military. Or a decision to go straight to the workforce or to start a career. Where will my next chapter take me? Am I prepared to face any challenges or adversities in my future? Have my past experiences opened my eyes and prepared me for what comes next? I cannot stand here and answer any of those questions. But what I do know, you are some amazing students who adjusted overnight. You are some amazing students who thought out the process and continued in this journey to reach this height tonight. You faced the unknown out of nowhere. You may have had some fear, you may have had some doubt, but I stand here with pride as the East Hartford Board of Education Chairman, celebrating every single one of you which are winners in this fight. East Hartford Public Schools Class of 2020, I do not need a theme for you tonight because every single one of you are the theme. You will be remembered in history that you did not let the situation keep you from making it here tonight. The class of 2020, who could not walk across the stage to receive their diploma, but are graduating many Determined to make a change, the class of 2020, I could not be more proud. There was no warning of what we would endure, but with the support of your family and each other, you are walking tonight in a new door. There is no doubt. I will hear many names again. I will hear many of the successes in your life. I want to personally thank you and your family for letting East Hartford Public Schools be an academic part of your young lives. I leave you with some words that sustain me throughout the years. When you look in the mirror, like who you are. When you look in the mirror, always be proud of who you are. When you look in the mirror, no matter how successful you may be, stay humble. When you look in the mirror, be that person that not only cares about their own life, 
but be that person that cares to make a difference in other people's lives. Here they come, world. Get ready for the class of 2020. <laughs> stay steady and stay strong. Your future is on a path to be great. You made it. You did it. Continue to be that bright and shining light. When you reflect on all you have accomplished these past 12 years, do not focus on the mistakes you made. Focus on the good times, the friends you made, and the right choices that got you here. I extend my hand to you, not my elbow. No elbow bumps here because you are the ones that are going to make it a better world that sometimes seems upside down. You're going to continue to grow and learn and turn this world around. Help us to make a change. Lord knows we need it now. The curtain of life has unfolded for you tonight. You will have another stage to cross. You will have another stage to climb up to. You will have another stage to appear in your life. The class of 2020, who had faith over fear. Be safe and be well. Have a great remainder of the year. Congratulations. Hey, Hornet family. Welcome to East Hartford High School's virtual graduation for the class of 2020. I know this isn't the way any of us wanted or thought our graduation would go, but we're here now, so let's make the, let's make the most of it and keep rolling with the punches. No use crying over spilt milk and all that jazz. Anyway, I have to say the following, but do whatever you want while watching this or listening. Without further ado, let's get the show on the road. As the morning voice of EHHS, I, Elijah Barrett, will lead us through the Pledge of Allegiance, so please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now please remain standing for the singing of our national anthem, which will be performed by our class's very own sensational vocalist, Lillian Bertram. Oh, say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight O'er the ramparts we watched Were so gallantly streaming And the rockets rattled The bombs bursting in air Gave proof through the night That our flag was still there Please welcome the mayor of East Hartford, Marsha LeClerc. Good afternoon, Superintendent Quinnell, Board of Education members, Chairman Hall, teachers, parents, and East Hartford graduates. This year, your year, will be the year to remember. Traditions have been set aside and the world seems distant and upside down. This year will go in history as a year that changed the world 
and your class of 2020 will be the generation and class to redefine it. To all the graduates, I would like to extend my sincerest congratulations on your achievements, my best wishes for your future endeavors, and a few words of encouragement during these unprecedented times as you prepare to embark upon new paths of exploration and achievement. As you begin a new chapter, your class has been handed an opportunity to turn things right side up with new order and greater purpose that brings new ways of working, more opportunities to all, greater equity and change the world as we presently know it. So think beyond yourselves. This world is full of people who think of themselves first and fail to understand that we all have a responsibility to ourselves, our families, and one another. In our connected world, imagine the intentional good that one thoughtful moment might be able to produce. If more people had that imagination, the will and the awareness to pursue it, we might accomplish good at a scale and significance unmatched in history. Be resilient and adapt to the shifting world. Resilience isn't about putting up walls and staying still. Resilience is about moving and using your challenges and fears as a springboard on which to leap from adversity into new opportunity. It isn't about being fearless. It is about taking courageous leaps rather than getting trapped in paralysis. The fear that naturally comes with adversity is a signal that you're standing in front of a great opportunity. Remain true to your core values. Your life will be immeasurably enriched by the new connections you will make and the new experiences and new ideas you will encounter. Your values are your personal inventory of what you consider the most important in your life. Safeguard and hold them near. They will always be your internal compass. And while traditions and celebrations and graduations not, may not be part of your transition, your administration and the Board of Education have strived to make your graduation meaningful while ensuring health and safety for all. If your next steps are to taking you new places, exploring new opportunities, or deepening your roots in East Hartford, whether you are entering the workforce, joining the armed forces, or continuing your education, I wish you the very best. So even though we can't have the pomp because of the present circumstances, it should never diminish the personal pride and satisfaction you should feel on your great achievement. Congratulations, class of 2020. I am proud of you and your accomplishments. Members of the Board of Education, administration, faculty, parents, friends, and members of the class of 2020. As principal of East Hartford High School, it is my pleasure to welcome you to the 134th commencement exercise. Before we continue with our activities, I wanted to mention how much I appreciate the cooperation of families and the dedication of staff during our first ever senior send-off celebration this week. Your experiences this year, while they are trying and difficult, they are yours and yours alone. Make the most of them and tonight. Usually at this time, I ask that you put away your cell phones and I show you where the exits are at the Bushnell in case of an emergency. Well, I actually urge you to have your cell phones out and make the most of this time with memories and posting your fun and celebration and appropriate videos and photos to hashtag EHHS 2020. Graduation is a community event. I would like to recognize the music department for coming through under the capable direction and dedication of Mr. Siegel, Mr. Bellman, Mr. Diaz, Mr. Hoyt, and Ms. Lasley, as well as our art department. I would like to thank Mr. Campbell, Mr. Bacon, all of the secretarial staff, Mr. Lavoie, and the House 12 team for their time and effort in producing our great experiences for the class of 2020, the pictures and video presentation as well. Ladies and gentlemen, the president of the class of 2020, Chanel Aoua. 
everyone, my name is Chanel Wu, and I'm the senior class president of East Stafford High School's class of 2020. Today is a big day. Even though it's not the traditional graduation where we're all together, we're still together, bonded by Hornet pride. Today, we get to celebrate our accomplishments and reflect. Reflect on what has brought us here. Four years of high school. Five words that sum up a coming of age experience. No, probably not the coming of age experiences that teen movies like High School Musical made us think we were going to have. However, we each had our own unique experiences. These experiences developed gradually until we reached this point, graduation. And it feels unreal, and it feels like a day that will never come until you get closer and closer to it, and then you're here. I mean, do you remember your first day of freshman year? For me, I think of it as the day I entered an amusement park, the amusement park of high school. Think about it, you're 14 entering a place that holds both the combination of excitement and fear but you're fearless or willing to try these rides regardless of if you fail to like them. Try these classes, try these school activities, or maybe you need to warm up to the thought of enjoying all the rides, warm up to the high school itself. So you try for a new sport, a new club. You make the team or you get into the club you wanted to. You start to realize that the rides at this amusement park aren't so scary after all. These rides help you warm up and eventually you find yourself getting on one roller coaster and then the next, one class to the next, one roller coaster after another, holding on the whole way through and making some great friends along the way. Yes, not all rides were pleasant. I speak from firsthand experience. We didn't like all of our classes and definitely not the work. Not all of the ride conductors or teachers may have been your favorite, but they kept things running smoothly and helped you through until you made it to this point. And then your long day starts to end. You've gone on all the rides, you've tried out all the food, or in our case, the cafeteria pizza with its own unique flavor. You get to the last leg of the amusement park, and just when you think you've seen everything, people are fighting over toilet paper and masks, and the rest of your day at the amusement park gets canceled. For a second, you may think you didn't get the full experience, but when you remember all the fun you had, you realize that you made a lifelong worth of memories. In life, sometimes we enjoy the ride when it's happening. Other times, we're terrified while things are moving until everything stops and we look back and laugh. Or both. So to high school, the ride conductors, and all the wonderful people I met at this park, thank you for teaching me that a place that may look scary or daunting at first may prove to be the experience of a lifetime. Although our day may have been cut short, we have many rides left to go on in life. Remember to keep holding on because each ride teaches us a lesson and has a value. And never forget to enjoy each one that you get to go on because you never know where a ride will take you. It's been an honor being the president of East Harvard High School's Class of 2020, and thank you all for listening. On to the next park, yours truly, Chanel Lua. Here to perform his original piece, Untitled, please welcome Gabriel Zacharite.
the salutatorian of the class of 2020, Amy Lee. Hi, everyone. My name is Amy Lee, and I'm proud to be the salutatorian for the class of 2020. First of all, I want to thank all the teachers and staff at EHHS, and of course, my parents who helped me become the person I am today. I know that this is not the ideal graduation that we are all hoping for, but during these difficult times, I'm grateful that we are still able to celebrate each other's journey and success. Throughout our high school careers, we all faced many struggles such as procrastination, senior writers, and long nights staying up to watch TikTok videos. And while all these things made up part of my own high school experience, I'd like to reflect on a few vivid memories. During freshman year, I remember my classes seemed pretty straightforward and easy, but there was one in particular that I had struggled with, English won honors. Near the end of the year, I had a B plus in the class, but I wanted to get a higher grade in order to maintain my straight A's on my report card. My teacher told us that we had a final project, which was to reenact a scene from Romeo and Juliet. And if you don't know me, I'm more of a quiet and reserved person. So I didn't want to let my group down just because of my naturally shy nature. We practiced after school until we perfected our scenes and lines. I, after my group's performance, I remember one of my classmates saying, damn, it's the first time when I can actually hear Amy. I found this to be a funny compliment. I felt confident in delivering my lines with great sentiment and my great efforts were rewarded. I ended up accomplishing my goal of having a 4.0 GPA for freshman year and continued to set these high standards for myself. Fast forward to senior year, I decided to take four AP classes. Yeah, I know what you're all thinking. Why would you take so many AP classes? Isn't she going to burn out? Well, the answer is yes, at one point. There was a period of time where I lost confidence and hope in myself. I felt so overwhelmed by the multiple tests and quizzes on, occurring on the same day. I spent countless of hours studying and reviewing the material in order to grasp the important concepts. However, I couldn't just fathom these ideas. So I went into school the next day with no confidence and took the test. I got to the point where I realized that I was becoming more and more pessimistic. However, my friends gave me the reinsurance that I needed to motivate myself and keep improving, to keep improving and learning from my mistakes. In the end, it turned out okay as I persevered through these mistakes and I am happy with my grades. During these four years, I learned that being resilient and determined to maintain a positive mindset will equate achievement and success. As you reflect back on your own memories, I'm certain that you can think of many adversities you've endured throughout high school. You are all resilient individuals. As long as you maintain resilience, you will find the path of success illuminating in the future. I hope you also take a moment to appreciate those who helped you along the way and keep your true nature. I wish you all luck and happiness in the next chapter of your life. Thank you, Mr. Agnelli, the owner of Anderson Jewelers in East Hartford, as he has donated a watch to recognize our valedictorian of the class of 2020, ladies and gentlemen, Talia Salmon. Hello, class of 2020. You start for high school faculty and families. First, I'd like to recognize my classmates for their resiliency and determination to move forward with their education despite unexpected obstacles. Thank you to all the faculty and families that have assisted in getting us to this point. Thank you for always being empathetic and supportive. To be honest, I procrastinated with writing my speech, but it came time to where I had to do it. To start off my brainstorming process, I watched previous speeches from classes before us, and they all had notable stories from high school. I decided not to follow precedent because, frankly, I never ran into immovable hurdles during a steeple chase, I never crashed a car, never shattered bones in my leg, and they stopped making those 90s kids memes that we can all relate to even though we were born in the 2000s. Regardless, one thing I did do well in high school was read. I know you all are thinking, read? That is so nerdy. However, hear me out, because what kind of valedictorian would I be if I didn't share my knowledge? So, 
Welcome to my TED Talk. One of the more memorable books I read while in high school was The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People by Dr. Stephen Covey. As a class of 2020 vision, the second habit mentioned in this book is most appropriate for us to begin with the end in mind. Dr. Covey started off this chapter by telling readers to make their own eulogy. My first reaction was, wait, that's very morbid, but he had a point. Classmates, when you die, hopefully not soon, what will you achieve? What will you want people to say about your character? What legacy will you have left behind? Put your 2020 vision to use and answer these questions. This is how you will begin with the end in mind. Now that you have your desired end in mind, it's time to begin. This is where Dr. Covey brings in the two creations. We all have the capability to manifest a mental creation and a physical creation. Mental creation is a planning phase. This is where you will have to use your 2020 vision to create your goals and milestones in extreme detail. And when I say extreme, I mean extreme. Use your five W's from English class. The who, what, when, where, why, and also how. You need to know exactly what you want or else you will not be motivated to make the second creation. The second creation, physical creation, is putting your plan into action. You will need to gather up all your work ethic and be persistent despite guaranteed adversity. Many of us utilize one creation and not the other, but we cannot unlock the full potential of either creation unless we use both. Personally, I'm more of the mental creation type, but that's because I'm a bit lazy. I know, very paradoxical, a lazy valedictorian. I would give you an example of what it means to use the two creations, but I would rather not limit your scope of such a powerful tool. The pairing of mental and physical creations will look infinitely different for all of us, and I would like you all to exercise individuality regardless of your goals. I want to remind you all to thank yourself. You have been and are the most critical person in deciding where you will be in the future. So be resolute in your mission and never fold on your purpose. Remain solid class of 2020. Congratulations on this major achievement. Performing the class song of 2020, Rise Up by Andra Day. Please welcome back Lillian Bertram. You're broken down and tired of living life on a merry-go-round. And you can't find my life. I see it in you, so we gon' walk it out. Walk it out and move mountains. 
It is my pleasure to present Mr. Nate Quinnell, Superintendent of East Hartford Public Schools. Congratulations to our families, our faculty, and the students of the class of 2020. Today you follow a time-honored tradition in a unique fashion. Today you turn the tassel and graduate from East Hartford Public Schools. While today's times have called for measures that are certainly different, I want each of you to know that one thing that will never change is the pride that we have in you, the appreciation we share for how hard you've worked, and the gratitude for the efforts of your teachers, your parents, and your loved ones. Today, I am so proud in our East Hartford Public School graduates as you virtually cross the stage and complete your journey here in East Hartford. Today's world is an uncertain world. Just three months ago, I'd never used the phrase novel coronavirus. I didn't know what PPE was and I certainly had never hung out in a Google chat. That has changed. However, today, I don't want to talk about what is different. I want to talk about what is the same. I want to talk about the lessons that you've experienced in East Hartford Public Schools, and I want to take this final moment to cheer you on and cement this identity as we move forward. As you cross the virtual stage today, here are three certain things in an uncertain world that will lead to certain success. Number one, unprecedented perseverance. We are a system, we are a community that believes in rising again, again, and again. Life will continue to throw challenges at you that will knock you down. In East Hartford, you have continually showed your ability to rise again, and this lesson will carry and sustain you. Number two, hard work always works. As a school system, we believe in the power of sweat equity. I want one more time to remind you that nothing great is ever achieved without great effort. As life progresses, many will attempt to sell you shortcuts. And at worst, despise the grind. Ignore it. Keep working. Keep plugging. Great breakthroughs are ahead. And finally, number three, don't be good, be great. We all rise to the level of expectation we set for ourselves. EHPS is a system that believes from high expectations come great results. Never settle for so-so. Go the extra mile, push for more. Class of 2020, you have great things ahead for you. And it's with admiration and confidence that I get this chance to wish you all well for ahead. Godspeed, take care of yourself, take care of someone else, and God bless. And now, the 2020 East Hartford High School Teacher of the Year, Mrs. Lisa Merrill. Hello, class of 2020. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Mrs. Merrill, and I teach ESL up on the second floor. I want to start by saying how proud I am of you all. We're living in unprecedented times, and you guys are a special group of individuals. I've been thinking for a while about what advice I can give you that I've learned in my 33 years on this planet that you haven't already heard. I came up with a few things. You might have heard them before, but they're the things that I think are important. The first thing I can tell you is love. Love with all of your heart. In this world, there is not a force more powerful than love. 
in life, you will have to find your family. For some of you, your family will consist of your blood, the people that you were raised with, the people that gave you life. But for some of you, it won't be. So for some of you, you will have to choose your family. Whoever it is, whoever you find, hold on to them as tight as you can. Tell them every day that you love them. Yeah, I'm talking to everybody, not just the mushy ones among you. Tell people what they mean to you. If there's nothing else that I have learned from this whole pandemic, it's to cherish the people that I find dear. The next little lesson I have for you is to laugh. Whenever possible, for as long as possible, and as much as possible. Laughter makes the bad times tolerable, and it makes the good times even better. Even when it's for a reason that really shouldn't be funny, find a reason to laugh. I promise it'll help. The next piece of advice I have for you is to fight for what you believe in. In life, you're going to encounter things that don't feel right to you. Do something to change them. Your voice is just as important as anyone else's and it deserves to be heard. One of my favorite quotes is from a movie called Rang De Basanti from India. There are only two ways to live your life. Tolerate things the way they are or take responsibility to change them. Do the latter. Change things. Make things better. The question you probably hear a lot right now is what's next? High school's over and maybe you're going off to college, maybe you're going to the military, or maybe you're going right to work. But the thing that I have to say is no matter what your path is, follow it with your whole heart. And if that path should change, that's okay. Things change all the time. The important thing is that we do what we believe is right in the moment and that we learn from wherever we are. You all are a unique group of students who are graduating during a time like none other. So I have no doubt that you will do unique and amazing things in this world. You have overcome all of this, and I have no doubt that you will overcome whatever else life has in store for you. So get out there and change the world. And once you do, come back and tell us about it. We miss you after you leave. All right, class of 2020, it's the moment you've been waiting for. Please stand. The class of 2020 is certified that they have successfully completed all requirements for graduation as set forth by the State Department of Education and the East Hartford Board of Education. Ashley Ama Nyarko Ajay Abina Azenya Nardia Ajari Elton Ajikum Asante Garrett Allen Manuel Alvarez. Kofi Amaniampong. Lillian Amwako. Iverson Ampolfo. Marland Anderson. Sky Anderson. Elijah Anduhar. Marvin Anglade. Demetrius Antoneris. Kelvin Appia. Ryan Archer Brandon Arroyo Talia Asbury Ree Atkins Daniela Avila Redenzo Victor Aviles Chelsea Jean Bailey Daniela Balderrama Roman Alicia Desiree Barco Elijah Barrett Malachi Bass Jennifer Beloso Jeremiah Berlingeri Jeremy Berlingeri Shiloh Burston Lillian Bertram Saima Burra Gabriela Bonilla Delgado Alyssa Bootsari Emily Ann Baralt Takaya Broderick, Jamel Brown, Janaea Brown, Tyra Brown, Maisie Brownsword, Jordan Brundrit, Danielle Bryan, Micaiah Bryant, Anamaris Burgos, Victor Javier Burgos. Mara Boussier Janae Chantel Bird 
David Cabrera Julian Calderon Tamia Caldwell Jesus Kayan Ashley Yadira Capania Adonis Cardona Justin Karlmark David Carruth Sarah Carvajal John Cassandra Yesenia Marie Castillo Edgar Salis Gomez Cameron Chambers Tishan Robert Charles Sana Chowdhury Jonathan Leonardo Chavarez Shayla Clark Asia Briel Kloss Zenia Coleman Ayana Kalimor Brian Colon Ramirez Kailani Colon Naomi Colon Rodriguez Anthony Justo Contreras Alan Corder Gianna Elizabeth Corrado Mariceles Eshanena Cruz Janaya Cruz Bermudez Jonathan Comento Joseph Comento Nathaniel Cunningham Terry Dadzi Ishrat Dagda Kiara Davis Kiara DeBerry Angelina Rose Di Dominicus Gianna Marie Delicio Berlina Shea Dizagas Saini Diaz Velasquez Araceli Yvette Diaz Nathan Gabriel Diaz Jean Michael Malik Dixon Caitlin Nicole Dixon Malik Zaire Dixon Alondra Angelis Donato Eunice Donyang Anthony Earl Douglas Jalen Michael Dukes Tu Kim Dong Jamira Ely Phoenix Echeverria Oswa Ennen Angel Esquilin Alexandra Fabian Brian Josue Fernandez Reginald Fields Yobien Yadiel Figueroa Alesia Makeda Tiana Finlay Jose Flores Calderon Brianna Flores Jalen Fontanez Jaheem Jackson Ford Tiana Alyssa Frazier Princess Frimpong Marion Ganesh Caitlin Gangaway Ethan Garcia Louis Garcia Nayeli Marie Garcia Cassandra May Gothier Isaiah Jamal Gomez Pedro Isamel Gonzalez Abigail Gooden Raheem Emery Gordon Danitza Grado Salas Shahira Grandon Dayton Karen Grant Giovanni Gray Kayla Yvonne Gray Dajay Greer Isabella Griffith Gary Hayes Caitlin Renee Hayes Brianna Henriquez Michaela Henry Josiah Michael Hernandez Alyssa Hernandez Reyes Janai O'Shane Haran Hector Herrera Taina Hightower Lena Herentham Cameron Marquette Howard Kaiwan Elijah Hunter Ariana Sonia Irizari Tishon Isaac Tyshawn Jackson Sharmik James Savion Jennings Jason Jimenez 
Ezekiel Jiminian. Aaron Johnson. Elijah Earl Joyner. Magdalene Can Cam. Manfred Kantenka. Raman Kazliwala. Kiana Gonzalez. Michaela Kantikane. Isaac Kwaku Kisia J. Dylan Cleef. Alexandra Kanavalova. Jamie Koski. Kadeem Lampty. Miguel Lavaire. Amy Lee. Malachi Leek Taylor. Chris Mari Little Bit LeBron. Brianna Bren Lee Delgado. Noah Lindsay. Mariah Little. Jelani Ledwinka. Madison Lomax. Diana Liz Marie Lopez Colon. Devin Lopez. Ismo Lopez Velez. Alexander Lovos. Valentina Lozada. Joanna Longpreset. Aliyah Lynn. Makai Lynn. Joseph Magnano. Samantha Marie Mallon. Anthony Nicholas Mangine. Taheem Martin. Emily Martinez. Anthony Martinez. Avery Martinez. Carlos Martinez. Maya Mason. Marvin Matthews. Jashad Sharif Mathis. Trey McCormick. Daniel Sean McDonald. Janae McIntosh. Alondra Del Mar Medina. Alexander McGuire. Brianna Mendoza Rosario. ECR Mendoza. Maxime Mensa. Christopher Chino Mercado. Kayla Michaud. Maurice Michael Mighty. Brianna Carlu Miller. Amaya Millet. Anthony Mitchell. Tiara Monet Mitchell. Diana Moise. Jacob Lewis Montanez. Jeffrey Morales. Yarelis Morales. Nevea Alana Marrero. Santa Lee Mosley. Salima Alaya Mohammed. Abrar Mujavar. Karina Michelle Morillo Reyes. Isabella Rose Murphy. Zania Murphy. Jaden Morell. Bidahu Abdul Mutalib. Jennifer Nevedo. Daris Mariel Negron Vasquez. Adriana Negron. Zawira Naini. Miracle Deanna Newkirk. Lily Nguyen. Shayla Nguyen. V. Nguyen. Sheremy Nieves Cunias. Yao Nemo Agare. Joshua Nitura. Caroline Nunes Almenas. Zenobia Oaks Caldwell. Fatima Ochoa Lopez. Emmanuel Nana Yaw Odura. Gift Okiki. Lumila Oliveira. Byron Oliveros. Raymond Ernest Oliveri. Gifty Opong. Nayeli Marie Oquendo. Zulairam M. Porta Gomez. Jezere Ortega. Nathan Ortega. Anaya Ortiz. Selene Marie Ortiz. Isabel Cristina Ortiz. Makia Ortiz. Ronaldo Osborne. Cindy Rosario Rivera. 
Amarellis Elise Pagan. Nathaniel Pagan. Christian Palacios. Garvin's Pamphil. Wendy Pamphil. Brianna Paragon Singh. Liza Pardo. Sherilyn Paz Masariego. Sarah Pearson. Chelsea Pereira. Daniel Perez. Cheyenne Pickering. Chandler Fitzgerald Pinthier. Jorge Porres. Adriana Queeley. Madison Queeley. Angelina Quiles. Francesca Ivaliz Quiles. Ravindra Rajpal. Christopher Ramirez Cubas. Waldemar Ramirez. Alize Ramos. Alyssa Ramos. Jeremy Ramos. Jose Armando Ramos. Donovan Rampasard. Arena Ransom. Arena Ransom. Emmanuel Stephen Richardson. John Calvin Richardson. Nevea Monet Ridge. Nathaniel Eden Ringrose Axiak. Astrid Lisette Rios. Renzo Arturo Rios. Rebecca Risley. Michael Reveglia. Luis Rivera Rivera. Gabriel Andres Rivera. Zuhaili Rivera. Ashley Christina Robert. Naya Joyce Robinson. Rajay Robinson. Stacy Rodas. Elijah Alexis Rodriguez. Genelise Rodriguez. Omar Rodriguez. Samuel Rodriguez. Victoria Rodriguez. Yerleishka Rodriguez. Alejandro Jose Rodriguez Laborde. Ashley Ayana Roldan. Bryant Lee Roman. Ulisa Yamilez Romero. Samantha Rosa. Joshua Rosario. Kayla Ross. William Ross. Josuel Ruiz Sanchez. Daylene Dede Ruiz. Priscilla Ruiz. Edvin Sagastume Ramos. Jeremy Salas. Talia Salmon. Fabiana Sanchez. Luis Sanchez. Chantel Santana. Victoria Sastre. Alexis Sayce. Roger Scarlett. Austin Segura. Sarah Senethep. Isamal Sepulveda. Alejandro Serrano Dominguez. Jomar Serrano Miranda. Stephanie Sasenu. Brandon Charles Chauver. Noah Silva. Victor Silva. Kevin Silvestri. Cameron Sinclair. Deontay Smith. Devin A. Smith. Michaela Smith. Tyson Smith. Leah Snay. Derek Soto. Yasser Soto. Elizabeth Salsa. Johan Stagnero. Dalton Staple. Jason Stangle. Ruben Stevens. Nigeli Stewart. Nathan Stickles. Jermori Stewart. Patrick Sulka. Colin Sumislaski. Rose Supersad. Emily Zaluga. 
Kioja Jacqueline Thomas. Alize Thompson. Alexis Thorpe. Genesis Thorpe. Andre Tolan. Kishla Torres Rodriguez. Rihanna Riri Torres. Dazzlin Towns. Ken Tu. Praise Udam. Oliver Olquilla. Samuel Valentin. Rainalise Selena Vargas. Sanaya Verhalik. Oscar Vasquez Moreda. Ryan Vaughn. Sharice Nicole Vaught. Kelsey Velasquez. Desiree Marie Velez. Jenea Vinters. Duomo Virouette. Andrea Walker. Aaliyah Walsh. Alex Walthall. Athena Weber. Ashanti Weeks. Kiana Welsh. Victoria Worth. Amaya Willie. Jalen Williams. Lincoln Williams. Michaela Venice Williams. Naomi Williams. Tatiana Ace Williams. Fernando Matias Yax. Carol Victoria Yepes Quintero. Gabriel Zacharite. The president of the class of 2020, Chanel Awua. I don't need this. To the graduating class of 2020, no one thought you would be here at this moment in this way. Looking back at you, it's actually a momentous feeling for me. I've known some of you since you were at middle, in the middle school, playing indoor soccer in the back gym. I got to meet some of you in freshman seminar and biology class as your teacher. But the majority of us started our journey together when you became upperclassmen and we began our 2020 vision. I truly appreciate our class. Who knew that back in the fall, Spirit Week and the pep rally would be one of my fondest memories of our time together. There was so much positive energy, camaraderie, and hornet pride from starting at 5.30 in the morning, meeting at the Rock, to running out to the football field together. We won't mention that Mr. Fodi and I got scolded a little bit by Mr. Ryan when he got back from China. I've been in education for 19 years, and your collective energy and your class's bond is more memorable than you can realize as the East Hartford's class of 2020. And that's what it's really all about. I want to take a moment, and I want you to think back of how our lives have all changed over the past three months. What an amazing time it's been for me. I haven't had to patrol the hallways. I haven't had to check uniforms. I don't have to wait to for you to quiet down in the lunchroom so I can do lunch announcements. And I haven't given out discipline in over three months. I know I'm the one that you love to hate, but I need you to all know, I have always had your best interest in mind. I want you to be the best self for you to reach your full potential and to reach every goal that you set for yourself. When your guard is down, when you're with your friends, when you're connecting with your teachers, your counselors, your coaches, I love to witness who you really are as a person. Don't underestimate the resilience that you possess. This time in history will forever be remembered. Your class has been dealt a challenging hand as has your families and our Hornet community. Together, we've endured an unimaginable curveball. But with this, you have shown your strength. You have proven to be resilient, flexible, and strong. With this life lesson of hardship and disappointment, don't look at it as the end, but as a setback that we can all learn from and so that you can see your true strengths. Don't let this moment define you but use it as a motivation to guide your future. Don't be afraid to take chances. You are more than capable than you can ever imagine. I know it's cliche, 
But I could give you one piece of advice. Remember to be in the moment. Remember, life is never duplicated. You only have one time around this crazy pandemic experience, wonderful world. What a unique moment that we all live in today. This is your defining moment. Worldwide, you are the class of 2020. You are flexible, adaptable, historical. Remember, you are Hornet strong. As you move forward in our lives, remember to always be safe, be responsible, be respectful. I recognize your senior year did not end up the way that you all imagined it to be. But it does admit, diminish the accomplishments that you've all have made. You are not the first generation to see hard times, but you are the generation that is in the light now. Be bigger and better than yourself. Go out there, make our Hornet community proud, and make this world a better place. Be your best self. Remember to take care of each other because you are a part of our Hornet family and leave a positive imprint wherever you go. I also want to thank you. I feel grateful for being a part of your lives and I can't wait to hear about all the amazing things that you'll accomplish moving forward. So let's take a moment and be mindful of the amazing growth you've all made over the past four years. And now let's look forward to your future and the trails that you will make. Be sure to come back and share what you have done. We are all proud of you. And know the class of 2020 will leave their positive impact on this planet. Remember, you are smart, you are brave, you are loved, you are Hornet strong. Please be sure that you post your graduation picture to the one and only Class of 2020 Google Classroom. And for the final time, as a Class of 2020, please stand. Congratulations on graduating from East Hartford High School. Please turn your tassels and have a safe, responsible, and respectful evening. Thank you.